Good morning reception, I hope you all slept well. I am about to read you a story um, which is called Rama and the Demon King and the reason I'm reading this story is because um, this week um, Hindus and Sikh people all over the world will be celebrating the Festival of Light, Diwali. So I thought I would read you the Diwali story. This is the story of a brave and good prince called Rama, the king's favourite son. He had a dear wife called Sita and a loyal brother called Lakshman. And all the people in the kingdom loved, well, all but one. And that was his jealous stepmother. She hated Rama and she pro uh, planned to get rid of him forever. Here she is. Rama's wicked stepmother went to the king and said, Long ago I saved your life and you promised to reward me. Now I want you to send Rama into the forest for 14 years. The king was horrified. The forest was full of terrible demons. But what could he do? A king must keep his promise. With a broken heart, he sent Rama away. So that very day, Rama, with Sita and Lakshman at his side, set out for the dangerous forest. In the forest, with the de um, in the forest, the demons hated anyone good, and they were spoiling for a fight. As soon as Rama, Sita, and Lakshman appeared, the demons attacked them. Both princes were brilliant fighters. They fought back bravely and killed thousands of demons until at last there was peace in the forest. Rama, Sita and Lakshman lived a quiet and simple life among the forest animals, but it was not to last. That is a terrible demon. Far away, in a magnificent palace in the island of Lanka, lived Ravana, the ten-headed king of all the demons. He was evil and proud. No one can defeat me, he boasted. No one knows more magic. He smiled ten horrible smiles. One day a messenger brought the news from India that Rama and Lakshman had killed thousands of demons. What? He screeched with his ten mouths and he quivered with rage. Ravana leapt into his magic chariot and flew to India. There he hid in a tree, ready to pounce on Rama and Lakshman. But when he caught sight of Sita, he stopped, dazzled by her beauty. She must be my queen, he muttered. I'll steal her from Rama and leave him broken-hearted. Serve him right for killing my demons. And his ten brains buzzed with evil schemes. This is what Ravana did. He sent a magic deer into the forest, a golden creature which enchanted Sita. Rama offered to catch it for her. Lakshman, he said, look after Sita while I'm gone. There might be demons about. He followed the deer until they both disappeared from view. All was quiet. Suddenly Sita and Lakshman heard a cry, help me Lakshman. It sounded like Rama. So Sita said, leave me, Lakshman, and rescue Rama. I'm safe here, hurry. Then Lakshman ran as fast as he could towards the voice. But of course, it was not Rama calling him. It was the fiendish trick of Ravana's. And now Sita was alone. Ravana swooped down and carried her off in his magic chariot. Meanwhile, Lakshman found Rama unhurt and with horror they realised they'd been tricked. Sita was gone. 
Rama was sad. The two brothers looked all over India for Sita. Their search was hopeless. Then one day they reached the land of the monkeys. They met There they met Hanuman, the leader of the monkey army, and told them their story. Ravana has taken Sita, said Hanuman. We saw them flying to the palace on the Isle of Lanka. How can we reach her, said Rama? The sea is full of monsters. I can help you find Sita, said Hanuman. My father is the wind god, so I can fly like the wind. Take my ring, said Rama. When you find Sita, give it to her, so she will know I sent you. Good luck. And Hanuman flew across the sea to Lanka. There they are. Hanuman found Sita imprisoned in Ravana's garden and he gave her a ring. I'm so glad to see you, she cried. I've refused to become Ravana's queen. If I don't change my mind, he says he will chop me up and eat me. Be brave, said Hanuman. Be brave. Hanuman returned to Rama with his news and the monkey army prepared for battle. They began by building an amazing bridge which stretched right across the sea from India to Lanka. Then the army, led by, led by Rama, Lakshman and Hanuman, crossed it. Ravana's demon army was waiting for them on Lanka and a terrible battle began. The demons tried all of their evil tricks. Some used magic arrows that turned into poisonous snakes. Some became invisible. Others moved at the speed of light. But Rama, Lakshman and the monkey army stood firm. After many days of fierce fighting, the demons were defeated. But then, Ravana appeared with his 20 eyes blazing. Ha! Rama, he sneered. You know you cannot beat me. Rama was silent. He raised his bow and released the arrow. It found its way to Ravana and pierced his evil body. He was defeated. Rama and Sita returned to India. The people rejoiced and welcomed them home. Sadly, the old king had died of his grief. Rama was made king with Sita, his queen, and Lakshman and Hanuman at his side. The celebrations lasted for a whole month. Rama ruled wisely and well, and the land became fruitful, and at last the kingdom was free from evil. And that's the end of the story of Rama and the demon king. Hope you enjoyed it.